Hi, my name is Brian Doherty. The following I'm about to read to you is a list of bodies that my family has complained to of serious corruption against my family since we reported a paedophile. We've been aggressively targeted by the Garda, by social services and by medical professionals who've tried to remove our children into the care system and have my wife and I sectioned for reporting paedophilia. To show you how corrupt this is, because none of these bodies are being held accountable, responsible or transparent, I'm about to read you a list of just how shockingly bad and corrupt it has been and how they've all covered it up and this goes to the very heart of government. Number one, I complained to the Justice Minister Francis Fitzgerald about the illegal actions of senior, senior Tusla officers and some junior social workers. She passed this to James Riley. There was no response. I complained to the Garda Ombudsman about junior and senior officers and organised corruption against my family. The Ombudsman latterly agreed to investigate before re refusing to state that they were going to arrest myself. They cited Section 98 of the 2005 Ombudsman Act, which gives the Ombudsman power to arrest without warrant. Eight times by email, they refused to say they were going to arrest myself and then they closed the investigation. Number three, I complained to the Medical Council about a GP and a psychiatrist who worked with Tusla officers to try and have my wife and I sectioned because we dared to report a paedophile. The Medical Council didn't even bother investigating. Number four, I complained because of this rife corruption and the lack of legal representation, I complained to all TDs and Senators in the Irish Doyle about the corruption and its surveillance against my family by the Garda. I received only three automated responses. I thereafter contacted numerous TDs and none of them said they had received my information. Number five, I spoke with the secretary of a local TD and she's told me that he did not receive my email whatsoever. This and told me that there was gross interception and violation of our privacy and communications, which had been apparent for some time. Number six. Number six. In February, I applied through the Freedom of Information to the HSE to receive information held in Galway by the HSE about my family. They refused to even respond. In October, I applied again, this time with recorded post and a more detailed Freedom of Information request. I got a standard response and nothing from them since. Clearly, they're not bothering to do anything. In October also, I wrote, my wife wrote and my daughter wrote, as she's over 12, to Garda uh, Records down in Tipperary and through a subject access request, we paid their money and applied for information being held by Garda Records about my family. They didn't even bother responding, despite this being a detailed application. Number eight, significantly, this required evidence or information being held by Garda Records about their contact with the Justice Department and any approvals about surveillance from the Justice Department. Suffice to say, they didn't bother responding. Number nine, I complained about corrupt social worker May Malee for her perjury and priming medical staff against my wife and I to have a section. There was no response, no attempt at response. Number ten, I complained to James Riley for the Minister for the Breaking Up of Families. I complained about the disgraceful Scottish Chief Executive of the Social Work Body, Tusla, and there wasn't even an attempt at investigation. I got a basic response from Riley's private secretary, Evan Halkett, who said that there would be an investigation. That was back in April. There's been nothing since. Number 11, I complained to the Garda Ombudsman about the illegal actions, perjury, surveillance, um, and many other actions by a Sergeant Brian Murphy of ACO Police. There's no investigation. Number 12, I complained to the Garda Ombudsman about senior officer corruption. Initially they said there was grounds for an investigation before covering it up and closing the investigation and even saying, and this was genius, that it was me that was obstructing the investigation. In all of my many detailed complaints to Irish public bodies, which I've exhausted and I've spent countless hours and literally tens of thousands of words and letters complaining to these bodies, there has been no complaint which has been investigated. No complaint has been responded to with integrity. No government body has investigated, no professional body has investigated. 
all government bodies refuse to give access to information which they're legally obliged to divulge through freedom of information and subject access request laws. This has been a massive cover-up due to massive corruption against my family involving numerous state agencies which goes to the very heart of Kenny's administration. Thank you for watching.